hi all let's talk about on how to restart the package from the point of failure in ssis the answer is checkpoints checkpoints in ssis will help us to restart the package from the point of earlier failure checkpoint contains a checkpoints file the checkpoint file stores the earlier package status if the earlier package status is success then there won't be any checkpoint file if the earlier package status is failure then the checkpoint file contains the earlier failure information so whenever i run next time it starts from the failure point so now i'll show you how to link the checkpoints or how to enable checkpoints in the package so let me go to sql server data tools so i just simply designed a package with two tasks execute sql task 1 and execute sql task 2 now let me show you how to enable the checkpoint file here first of all you need to enable checkpoint file at the package level and you need to enable a checkpoint at the task level as well so let me show you how to enable at the package level so let's right click on the empty space of a package go to properties so in the properties there is a section with a name of checkpoints under that you have three properties you need to set these three properties compulsory okay first first one is a checkpoint file name here you need to provide the xml checkpoint file name you need to browse that location and second property checkpoint usage so by default it, it is never then simply you need to make it as always last property is save checkpoints by default it is false but you need to make it as true so these three properties you need to set it at the package level so once you are done at the package level then come to the task level so go to the properties of the task and we have one property so fail package on failure so by default is it is false you need to make it as true for this particular task you need to set this property for all the tasks in the package to enable checkpoints at the task level so now i have a question if i don't set this property for task true then what happens it does not track the failure information for this particular task so it tracks or it tracks only the uh, failure information of the task one so for that is the reason if you want to enable a checkpoints and if you really uh, looking for a checkpoints on all the tasks then you need to set the checkpoints at all the task level so this is how we enable the checkpoints and this is how we configure the checkpoints at the package level and task level that's it thank you